where we left off at. This is giving me a headache. Um. So. Hmm. Let's continue. Um. Guess how tall the World Trade Centers were? 110 stories. 11. The World Trade Center were two pillars. 11. The Statue of Liberty is on 11 point of star. AA American Airlines 11, the first plane to hit the Twin Towers. So if you do simple Dramatria, A is 1. A, one, so American Airlines, AA, that's 11. Flight, 11. It had 11 crew members on flight 11. So, another occultic number, and anybody that's been in a hotel would notice this, but you know, 13. So, what's the next flight? 175. 17 plus 5 is 13. It had how many passengers did it have? 11 passengers? No. It had 56. With 5 plus 6 is 11. So, after 9 11, well, actually, no, yeah, on 9 11, later that day after the attacks, George Walker Bush announced 11 days state of mourning. Hmm. 11 days later, he introduced the Patriot Act. So how many pages, how many pages could you do, could we get it uh, pumped out in 11 days? 10,000. 10,000 page Patriot Act. Uh, they must have been burning them keyboards. Give me another keyboard. I done burnt this one up. I, well, maybe not. Maybe they had this on the shelf. Hmm. 10,000 page document in 11 days. So when President Bush visited New York on November the 16th, 01, he did a photo op with a firefighter. Guess what was on his hard hat? Well, his fireman's hat. It would be cool if it was 11. It was actually 164. So 1 plus 6 plus 4 is 11. So we'll move on. But there's other occultic numbers too. Don't worry. You're still going to see plenty of 11s, okay? So flight 11, it flew into the 93rd floor. That's its point of impact. Hmm. The fourth plane that day is Flight 93. We might have to just investigate this. At the same time, the first two planes hit, George W. Bush was in Sarasota, Florida. With the elementary kids reading My Pet Goat. That's an interesting book. I mean, couldn't have done like Thomas the Train, Choo Choo Hill or something, you know? No, it was my pet goat. It's a, a story about how the goat is persecuted, but in the end of the day, he's the nice dude. Everybody hated the goat in this storybook, but in the end, he wins. If anybody's familiar with any kind of occultism, um, there's something called Baphomet, Baphomet, and it was actually brought up in the trials of the Templars, but that was a head that they worshipped, and they used the sign of the goat. That's why a pentagram is pointed upside down. Here's the two horns, as opposed to a star. It's pointed up. By the way, has anybody noticed the GOP 
this, uh, what's that called? Logo of the elephant. Well, whenever, before 2000, it had three stars above it, right? Well, it's still got three stars. But Google it. Uh, bef 2000, it had three upward pointed stars. Guess what happened whenever Bushy took the White House? There's three pentagrams above the elephant. And before I started getting into all this, this was 10 years ago or something like that, I looked at it and I was like, hmm. I was like, hmm. Maybe pentagram don't mean what I think it means. No, it does. But notice that. So, goat in the cult world is the god of Pan. He's the angel of the abyss. The devil has many names. And Pan is one of them. That brings us to the second plane, Pan Am Flight 175. It hits the South Tower. The point of impact, point of impact is the 77th floor at 9.03 a.m. Oh, oh, I got my 11 alarm going off. Well, no, that's not. That's 12, never mind. But it's 93. So the first plane hit floor 93. Now we have 903. That's 93. Flight 93 later on in the day. Hmm. We might have to do something about the 93. It had 11 passengers. I mean, okay. It had 65 passengers. 11. It had nine crew. So, that's a 9-11. Um, so, yeah. After that, Flight 77 hit the Pentagon. So, Six months, would anybody like some um, Nicorette? It's from France. I'm trying to get off that old bad nicotine. Anyways. Um, so for six months, the New York sky illuminated with eight banks of 11 skylights, 88. It lasted, how long do you think it lasted? If you, I would love you if you said 11, but it's 33. It lasted for 33 days. Not 32, not 34, 33. Huh. Nine hundred and eleven days after the initial tax of 9-11. On March the 11th, 04, was the Madrid bombings. It had 191 deaths. So in Gematria, we can take 191 and we can actually wiggle them up and do 911. And or you can do 9 plus 1 plus 1. 11. Just like magic. The same day, 911 days after the 911 attacks. Larry Silverstein bought the 110 story Sears Tower, 11. At $911 billion. Hmm. 911 hours later, after both of these events on April the 19th, 04, the Sears Tower bombing was thwarted. So, a side note, Larry, Larry Silverstein bought the World Trade Centers at, on borrowed money. Uh, just months. I, I, I have to get back to you on that, but just like literally months before the 9-11 attacks. And whenever he bought them, he's like, I, I got to get insurance on if a terrorist attack 
and or if a plane hits it. So on September the 12th, 2001, baby Larry Silverstein was on the phone saying, I want, I, I want my money. I want my money. And they're like, oh, oh yeah, we give you know, this is one terrorist. He's like, he's like, I want my money. You understand me, insurance company? That was two separate planes that hit my towers. I want two separate insurance payouts. He go fall, he go fall in a cow pile and come out with a gold nugget. You know it. So that's who that dude is. So. That's interesting. By the way, what else happens on April the 19th throughout history? The Waco siege. Guess what happened? That was four night. That was uh, April the 19th, 93. Oklahoma City bombing, April the 19th, 95. Those dates aren't by accident. 19, this is what I've heard it's for. So, if anybody's heard of Moloch, it's, it's the day of the Feast of Moloch. It talks about Moloch in the Bible. Moloch is the, I want to say, Canaanite idol that had arms like this. And um, they would, it was a furnace, and they would have its, uh, they would get it so hot, and they would have sacrificial babies. They would get pregnant for the purpose of throwing their babies into this idol. And it talks about, I want to say it was the Canaanite gods, yeah. And it talks about how God ain't going to be having them today. And if you got the Mullah God, he can't help you no more. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't disagree with him. So... 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. Um, when was World War I declared over? The 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month in 1918. That's why we have November 11th day as Veterans Day, if anybody didn't know. Interesting. This is... Um, Okay, yeah, two towers. Okay, if anybody's seen Lord of the Rings, <sighs> seven. Yeah, okay. Well, it's, this guy says this is a little side note. It says Ocean's Eleven, that big blockbuster movie. It was like it was released on twelve seven oh one. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Huh. The two towers was released on twelve nineteen oh two. They got a little creative. That equals 33. But, or 11. Um, guess the opening scene of it was Bill Bowes, 111th birthday. Interesting. I put this in here, but uh, J.K. Rowling. Anybody know the Harry, anybody Harry, Potter, Harry Potter nerd? That's that uh, horror witch that came up with uh, the big Harry Potter series books. Well, so J.K. Rowling, okay? Well, guess what? Her name is J. I can't remember what her first name is. J. Rowling. Her pen name is J.K. Rowling. What's the eleventh letter of the alphabet? K. J.K. 11 rolling. Hmm. Guess how long Harry Potter's wand is? 11 inches. Interesting stuff. So, we're about to wrap it up here. Um, oh, I want to say here. Uh, by the way, this is a little plug. So if 
you know how Michael had his little fancy computer? This is my computer with my sticker on it. And if anybody wants any of these cool stickers, disobey your real reptilian overlord, mystery ranch international.com, baby. You put it in our comments, say, um, MJ1, please put these on your website so we can buy these. That's a little plug. So, okay. We're going to wrap this up. Um, so, flight. American Airlines. Uh, AA Flight 11. So, we have 11, 11, AA. It had 11 crew. It had 81 passengers. So, 8 plus 1, 9. And 11. 9, 11. It had, uh, this is uh, some interesting side notes. It had, um, actor-wise, so it had David Angle, A-N-G-E-L-L. -L. He was the creator and exec executive producer of Frasier. It had Barry Berenson. She was an actress, wife of Anthony Perkins. Anthony Perkins is the original Psycho from the movie Psycho. It Seth MacFarlane, a family guy, an American dad, and a few other things. He was actually supposed to be on this flight, but he played ball, baby. He got that call. He says, don't get on that flight, son. Um, Mark Wahlberg was supposed to be on this flight. He plays ball with the cabal, and he got that call. So... Lee Han Literal. She's a wife of Backstreet Boy Brown Cena. And she got that call. Or he got that call. So the point of impact on Flight 11 was Floor 93. Flight 93, Floor 93. It was takeoff at 7.59 and impacted at 8.46. It was going 465 miles per hour at 10,000 10, um, gallons of fuel. Within one year, 33 victims had been identified from Flight 11, from their bodies. Flight Pan Am 175. It had, so if you did 175, that's 13. Squeeze that 13 in there. It had nine crew. So if you take the crew of Flight 175 and Flight 11, you get 911. Um, it had 56 passengers, 11. It took off at 814. 8 plus 1 plus 4 is 13. At 847, I put this in here because I'll be bringing up my own theories. Well, I, I'm... If M MJ1 ever escapes the black site that he's being held from, he would probably agree with these theories also. But, interesting side note, 847, his transponder changed twice within one, one minute. Hmm. There might be something to that. At 9.03, it crashed. That's 93. Point of impact, 77th floor. And next one up in line is Flight 77. Hmm. Huh. It had 9,100 gallons of fuel. It hit, it hit uh, the second tower 500 miles, 500 plus miles prior. I want to say it was like 540. So, Flight 77. It had a crew of six passengers, 58. 55 plus 8 is 13. It was hijacked. 33 minutes into the flight. It had a capacity of 188 passengers, but only 58 passengers. So let's do 188, divide that by 58. That's 33% field capacity. That was an interesting thing that they put on Wikipedia. I was like, 30, okay, cool. 33%, yeah. Of course it was. It took off at 820. So... It was hijacked 33 minutes into the flight. It crashed 
9.37. That was a 77-minute flight. It was going 530 miles per hour. It did a 330 spiral turn clockwise on its final ascent to the Pentagon. 33. That's it. That's it, fellas. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, me and Michael have been compiling data and analysis for a while now and talking about which direction we wanted to do this. And in my opinion, I think we're doing it good. And there's obviously got to be some, we got to get back on this. So hopefully if y'all went, if y'all watched the first two episodes, thank y'all. Please always like and subscribe because we got to get them algorithms up, baby. Got to get them algorithms up. That way, uh, this is a, I think this is a, an age of awakening, and hopefully it's a good awakening. And maybe everybody will step back and go, hmm, before we take anything what they tell us for granted, you know. I know, I, looking at all this stuff like this here has made me look at, as you see, MJ1 and MJ2, we love America. We love this place. But I don't like the direction I see this taking it. So truth is truth, right? You know? And... The only way they could be a conspiracy is if there are pieces of evidence is pointing in, in that direction. So, anyways, we're going to sign out and thank y'all for watching.